Uh, Entschuldigung. Wann uh, stehst du auf? Wann steh? Stehst du auf means out, the verb is here is aufstehen. So it means okay. when you when you wake up. Okay, okay. Uh, um, um, seven Uhr. Um seven. Yeah, okay. Ich auch, ja. Yeah. Yeah. Um uh, halb sieben. 6.30 ja. Uhr, ja. Ich ja, ich habe einen Hund. Okay. Ja, so, es, er muss spazieren gehen. Okay. Um. Is he here, lying, sleeping? Can you see him? Okay. Yeah, I'm sick. Is he verheiratet? Nein, <laughs> deshalb uh, einen Hund. That's why I have a... <laughs> okay. See, he's, he's, he's got only three legs sleeping. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we are... Pallav kommt um 9 Uhr. Okay. I'm joining again because my headphone is not... Sure, okay, to okay, the, okay. Uh, Meeting. Let me see if I have what the settings. I'll, I'll join again. We are beginning? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, gestern, gestern is uh, yesterday. Yeah. So, since you already know this, we are discussing this with the, we are discussing here and we are discussing these big verbs. No, this gestern means yesterday. Learning we are. We get as dear. Some by spiel. Example, danke. Es geht mir sehr gut. Und dir. Ja. Auch gut. Danke. Either this or just sehr gut. Ne? If you are not doing so good, you can also say nicht so gut. <laughs> but if you're saying like, oh la la, like, you know, like, okay, okay, then you can say, ah, so la la. So la la. Ah, I says, yeah, so la la. Then we learned Wefraga. Nennen Sie die Wehfragen, uh, Mayank? Uh, wie? Uh, wie heißt du? Wie alt bist du? Sehr gut. Wer bist du? Wie heißt du?
Ich bin Gaurav. Ich heiße Mayank. Ja. Wir fragen und hier ist Antworten. Oder Aussage. Aussage. So yesterday we did a bit of uh, informal setting, right? Like uh, we were doing informal setting. Hoita, Makin, we are. Hoita means uh, today. So today, today. Na? so today we'll let's do the formal setting. Hello, Joyce, P. Gates. Let me open. So if you see these pictures now, na? Guten Tag, Auf Wiedersehen. Ja, guten Tag, wie heißen Sie? Hören Sie und lesen Sie, wie heißen die Personen? I can't hear all. Ah, okay, sorry, 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 just a second. You're not shared. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So, guten Tag, wie heißen Sie? Hören Sie und lesen Sie, wie heißen die Personen? Okay. Now, what are we supposed to do here? Or also first, if you look at these pictures, if you look in the look at this, look at these pictures, where are these people? In uh, bureau. Of this in, house. In, in bureau, yes. So in bureau. In bureau is the uh, moment is Shaiba. Das bureau. No? And what do you do in the bureau? Is arbeiten. It's a verb to arbeiten. work. Yeah. Uh, the bite and to work. Das bureau. Now, guten Tag, we heißen sie, hören sie, und lesen sie, we heißen sie, we heißen die person. Uh, so, we here. We need to hear and read, and we need to tell who is, who are this person. Uh, so, hören sie, as we discussed this earlier, hören sie is to you here. In a formal way, lesson Z is you read yeah? and und we heißen the personen. Uh, Gauru, can you just excuse me for two minutes? I yeah, get sure. back. Sure, sure. Okay. Gauru, was this? Uh... Das Leiter number. Leiter number uh, is uh, in moment. Es ist nine. Nine. number should okay. be written on the like on the like here. Like if you in moment, I'll show you. No? Here yeah, it's, it's down. I found it. Uh, okay. Or else uh, the PDF has a different one. No, no, no. It's it's same. Hmm? Same. Okay. So we heisen the personen. So yesterday when we did, so they were saying Nina, Gregor. Huh? Yeah. Let's listen to it once now. Aufgabe 3a. 1. 
Guten Morgen. Mein Name ist Nina Weber. Guten Morgen, Frau Weber. Ich heiße Hansen. Oliver Hansen. Zwei. Guten Tag, Frau Kowalski. Guten Tag, Frau Weber. Wie geht es Ihnen? Danke, gut. Und Ihnen? Auch gut. Danke. Hallo, Herr Hansen. Das ist meine Kollegin Natalia Kowalski. Guten Tag, Frau Kowalski. Mein Name ist Hansen. Guten Tag. Entschuldigung, wie heißen Sie? Oliver Hansen. Drei. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Hansen. Tschüss, Frau Weber. Auf Wiedersehen, Frau Kowalski. Auf Wiedersehen. Fertig. Fertig. Das Mann ist Oliver Hansen. Der Mann? Der Mann. I don't know. Like I have uh, this confusion when to use there, the. So for anyone male, it will always be there. Uh, yeah, theoretically I know, but when I uh, That's okay, speak, yeah. yeah. You can, das man can also be correct because you might say that man, but it's okay, okay. their man. So masculine is always their man, die Frau. Oliver Hansen. Hansen. Hans Mann ist right. Hansen. Und uh, die Frau? Die Frau mit Weißhaar ist... Die Frauen. The plural ist die Frauen, ja. Yeah. So Frauen ist? No, no. I, I, I want to say the lady with white hair is Nina Weber. So the fr uh, their Frau mit Weißhaar is mm -hmm. Nina Weber. Is that correct? Das ist okay, für jetzt. I mean, jetzt ist es ist, ist, ist okay. We'll correct that. Okay. okay. Die Frau mit weißen Haaren. Okay, weißen Haaren. Mit weißen. Is it uh, fine if, uh, if I know something, I will speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, okay. Class. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. yeah, yeah. Mit weißen Haaren, ja. Yeah. So der Mann mm. Oliver Hansen, die Frau Nina Weber. Yeah, and the other one is. I mean, from... it gives a little complex yes. to the people who do not know this at all. But I think in this batch, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah comparatively, everybody knows in this batch a bit. Also, yeah, uh, it's okay if they hear it because if they don't understand, I will explain him explain to them a, a lot, like yeah. again. And also, yes, I will yes. anyway force them to not hesitate at all while they are speaking and have no complex because, uh, like we are just three four people. It's not like. 24 yeah, yeah. or 25, no, and strangers completely. So the Frau is Nina Weber and Natalia Kowalski. Kowalski. Now, tell me something. Oliver Hansen. Okay. Let it be right now. Good. So that is, that's the, the Leute Heisen, Oliver Hansen, Nina Weber, and Natalia Kowalski. Okay. Was McKenzie, Joyce und uh, Frank? Listen Sie den Dialog lauter. Welcher? Zweiter. All, drei A. Huh? Drei A. Ja, Guten alles. Tag, wie Sie, wie hören Sie und lesen Sie, wie heißen die Personen? Guten Morgen, mein Name ist Nina Weber. Guten Morgen, Frau Weber. Ja, ja, ja. Uh, mein, mein, auch. mein Kalese, liest auch. Ja. Guten, Guten Morgen. Morgen. Okay. Ja, mein ja. Guten Morgen, Frau Weber. Ich heiße Hansen, Oliver Hansen. Okay, I missed then what was he thought after that. Das ist okay. Ich heiße Hansen, Oliver Hansen. Lesen Sie weiter, ne? uh, Joyce. Von hier. Guten Tag, Frau Kowalski. Guten Tag, Frau Weber. Wie geht es Ihnen? Danke, gut. Und Ihnen? Auch gut, danke. 
Guten Tag, Frau Weber. Hallo, Herr Hansen. Das ist meine Kollegin Natalia Kowalski. Guten Tag, Frau Kowalski. Mein Name ist Hansen. Guten Tag. Entschuldigung, wie heißen Sie? Oliver Hansen. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Hansen. Tschüss, Frau Weber. Auf Wiedersehen, Frau Kolski. Auf Wiedersehen. Gut, Leute. So, guten Morgen. Mein Name ist... Okay, ich spiele das noch einmal. I'll play it again. Okay, guys, hear the dialogue. And this is matching the things that we just read. The dialogues. Yeah. Aufgabe 3a. 1. Guten Morgen. Mein Name ist Nina Weber. Guten Morgen, Frau Weber. Ich heiße Hansen. Oliver Hansen. Zwei. Guten Tag, Frau Kowalski. Guten Tag, Frau Weber. Wie geht es Ihnen? Danke gut. Und Ihnen? Auch gut. Danke. Hallo, Herr Hansen. Das ist meine Kollegin Natalia Kowalski. Guten Tag, Frau Kowalski. Mein Name ist Hansen. Guten Tag. Entschuldigung, wie heißen Sie? Oliver Hansen. Drei. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Hansen. Tschüss, Frau Weber. Auf Wiedersehen, Frau Kowalski. Auf Wiedersehen. So, what are they doing in the first para again? In this one? Greeting. Uh, Grusen. Huh? Guten Morgen, my name is Nina Weber. So, Grusen, na? greetings. To greet or to greeting. Und hier Guten hier Tag, Frau auch. Kowalski. Na, wie geht es Ihnen? Again, grüßen, right? Uh, ja, yeah. grüßen. Hier ist basically vorstellen. No, first one. Sich vorstellen. vorstellen. Ja. Na, sich vorstellen. Sich Means vorstellen. To introduce once in. And here is das Grüßen. Here is uh, Grüßen and Vorstellen. And this is again Zisch Vorstellen und Grüßen. Sich vorstellen und andere. So, sich und andere vorstellen. Andere means other people. Und andere vorstellen. Das war Verabschieden. 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 Auf Wiedersehen. What is Verabschieden? What is Verabschieden? Verabschieden ist to go, uh, bid goodbye. So this process Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Hansen, Tschüss, Frau Weber, no? Auf Wiedersehen, Frau Kowalski, Auf Wiedersehen, das ist alles, das ist, that is all verabschieden, to bid goodbye. Getting it? Yeah. Okay. Now, you see, guys, the, just a second, 
फॉर्मेल इनफॉर्मेल here yesterday we were saying how they were which pronoun were they were they using they were addressing each other with which uh, how how were they addressing each other z z or do in informal yeah so we highs to right they were asking the name as we highs to we are pis to pis to we gates no we gates and nina nina gregor und natalia 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 that is all is uh, what are these are they first name or second names mm, first, first name. name and what is the first name of deutsch vorname 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 is first name right means yeah. for also means before so first name or before name now let's also the full form of we gates is we gate is there in this context okay we gates so when you ask when you ask the other person also you say ah on dear we gate is we gate is there can you say here we hyphen z right instead of do in a formal way you use z and also i mean in a written language it doesn't matter but uh, sorry in in spoken language it doesn't matter other person can't understand it but this is z the capital z so we hyphen z another way of asking the same question is we ist ihr name this translation means aapka naam kya hai in hindi if you actually yeah. translated aapka naam kya hai aapka ear nama is aapka naam which does not exist really in english so if in in english if i would type i will say again how is your name or how are you called no again we is ear nama you can also say where is zinzi but it's okay for now you can just remember these two we hi zinzi we is the ear nama Befraga. You can either say Shaisa, Gaurav, Raghuvanshi, Order My Nama, We Hyphen We Is the Your Nama Mayank. My Nama is uh, Mayank. Uh huh. Unnak Nama. Uh, Thakur. My Nama is the Mayank Thakur. Clear? Yeah. My name is the Mayank Thakur. So, Mayank is the four name. Un Thakur is the family or Nak name. That is Rishtish. So here you see, I am addressing Mayank with. You are also saying your own name, and also you are addressing the other person. You are speaking your own whole name, right? So, yeah. Thakur is the family and name. Order Nak Nam, Nak family name or after name last Nak name, name last. Yeah. Name. Now why is it important? Because when you address the other person, let's say you are addressing a stranger or somebody who is very formal to you, you say Hero, Her, Good and Morgan, Her Thakur. That is why it is important. Okay. Yeah. You don't say Uncle Auntie, as yeah. I mean, like straight away. No, like we do it here overly. and if you are addressing wow. let's say your friends mom also or anybody you say frau let's say lady muller frau no thakur yeah. no frau muller okay frau muller fashion ji yeah so like if you want to ask 
and the whole question this formal way of asking this is hello frau muller when you know somebody we get as in and capital yeah. okay in and in and means aapke sath the first one was tumhare sath kaisa chal raha hai this one aapke sath kaisa chal raha hai means how is it going with you in a formal way not an informal informal is we get as dear we get as dear so same thing you can say answer of course when you're asking when you're answering the question in first person nothing will change as get me as sehr gut you're talk, you're going to talk about yourself as mir itself danke now again if the other person is using inen you will also use unen right you will say un inen and the other person can say ah uh, good danke you can say how good dank question ji so getting the difference between formal and informal guys yes joyce yeah so formal um, informal we use do mm -hmm. and even the verb changes like highest and beast or gets okay highest and beast and for formal we use capital s for z and the verb changes to highest and Uh, that is okay. That has nothing. So you can also use where Z Z also. That is fine. The verb doesn't Sorry? change. You can also use where Z Z. Z. Verb doesn't change. It's okay. So I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean the the, the you mean the the form of the verb change, right? Like this. Form, form. of the verb. The conjugation yes. change. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. you are right. Where yes. where this do? Yeah, that yeah. that is according to the subject. So okay. yes, you are right. Yeah. No, we get get this mean. Why? Very good. Like here, it says all of them are this. T doesn't matter. Formal, informal, the verb stays at the second place. Yeah. Um, in formal, um, we are address. I mean, we address people with frau and hair. Whereas uh, here we can directly ask, speak to them with their full name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be also one of the questions. Just check these rules, guys. I'll just come back in two seconds. Okay, just check these in one minute. Just here, like if you see this, a moment. Yeah, full name. Just a second. Joyce, I arrived uh, from uh, Germany only, or you are in India? Uh, I'm from India, Pune. Okay. You are in Germany since? Uh, I'm here. I'm in Europe since 2019. But okay. Germany, I was there in 2020. Then I went to Budapest. Then now I mm -hmm. again came to Germany. Okay. so you are familiar with most of the words like vocabulary there yes so 
I had learned German with Gaurav long back. Same here. I just remember 10 percent. <laughs> I also learned from Gaurav only. Okay. No, no, she okay. learned it with me means that she no, was I had learned that Gaurav study. Okay, 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 okay. I, like I in, learned from Gaurav. Yeah, 2008 and all, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, that's uh, in Goethe Institute, yeah, you're there. Yeah, in Goethe Institute. Okay, Loita. So here, yeah, so Zehinzi, no? So now, how to introduce the third person also? If you see, that's a minor collegian. That's a minor collegian, Natalia Kowalski. So you can all, you can both introduce each other. No? Repeat the dialogue once. You can introduce me. Like, ask each other questions, guys. But in tag, my name is. Like these ones. Okay. Good. Good and tag. My name is Mayank. V Heisenzi. Good and tag. Ish bin choice. Ish Heisen choice. You can also say the sister mine the sister mine colleague. Okay. You can introduce me. Okay. Das is mine colleague in. Um, maybe no, Apurva. No. Okay. The system mine colleague. Mine what? Oh, it's a nine nine. Sorry, I thought you were introducing me. That's his Rishish. That's his mine colleague in Rishish. Apurva, Frau Apurva. Okay. That's his mine colleague in Frau Apurva. Order Frau Gupta. <laughs> yeah. Because it is a sir. Yeah, Naknama for Frau Gupta. Guten Tag, Frau Gupta. Yeah, I can become Ishbin Frau Gupta. Guten, Guten Tag. We get a scene in Herr Thakur. Uh, mir geht es gut. Danke. Und Ihnen? Auch gut. Danke. Uh, Joyce, fragen Sie, uh, uh, vorstellen Sie und fragen Sie, uh, Mayank? Uh, okay. Joyce. So you want me to question him and mm -hmm. introduce myself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the other okay. way now. In a formal way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good talk. Be high sensitive. Good talk. My name is uh, Mayank V. Heisenzi. Entschuldigung, V. Heisenzi? Uh, Thakur, Mayank Thakur. Is Heise Joyce? Is Heise Frau Joyce? Und uh, ich bin Lehrerin. Und du? Ich... Uh, ich bin auch Lehr, uh, Lehrer. Gut, das ist toll. <laughs> das ist was ich meine. Das ist mein Kollege Gaurav. Ne? Yeah. Das, okay. das, das ist mein ist... Kollege uh, Kollege uh, Gaurav Raghuvanshi. Guten Tag, Herr Raghuvanshi. Am I audible? Yeah, you, you are audible. Mm -hmm. No, it's just my dog wanted some attention, so I'm gonna lock him outside in some time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stats he got up. Okay. So yeah. So that's his mine uh, colleague, no? Now, if you see this yellow yellow thing, like no, verben un personal pronomen. Verben un personal pronomen. No? Verben un personal pronomen is. Let's learn. Verbs some. and personal pronouns. This is. So, what are the verbs that we have learned so far? Is. Heisen. Heisen. 
Python. Python. Uh. Now, what is the form of this verb? Is basically when so every verb that we are going to learn is mostly going to be ending with en. No, so Python is to, to be called. Python is to be called, and the other verb is called sein. Sein means to be. Now, this to, to be, be is. No, so you can use this with a noun like to be a person, to be somebody, to be plus adjective, right? Like you are eighteen year old or you are twenty or you no know, adjective. Then to be in some place, right? In some place to be sein. So very important verb sein, which means to be. Hello, Pallav. Hey, hi, Gaurav. So be plus adjective. Yeah, like if you say I am a student, or I am sick. Sick here is an adjective, right? I am sick. Sick is an adjective. So you can use this verb "zain," which means to be. What is in English? Like in English, also it means the same thing. By the way, when you say I am sick. So the verb is actually yes. that you're using is be to be right. This is am is a part of is a conjugated version of to be. However, right now, let's say whenever I learn a verb in German, it is we. I'm gonna learn it in which form? Infinitive. Do you know the definition of infinitive, guys? If you know by any chance, infinitive. Yes. Yeah. It is. Yeah, infinitive verbs can be conjugated. Yes. Also, to like to do is an infinitive. to work in english it looks like this but in english we do not conjugate the verb so it doesn't make any difference oh sorry Only... infinitive verbs cannot be conjugated yes i mean cannot be conjugated i mean what the infinitive uh, the definition of infinitive is the unconjugated form the unconjugated form okay. of a verb right so basically the any verb that we are going to learn is an infinitive also the present tense and it's always in the unconjugated the present tense form of a present tense present verb i mean whatever it is making sense right now writing can't think right now too much the un can unconjugated form of a present tense verb so let's say to do to work to work is a present tense right yes huh? basic verb base verb base verb Hyson, full of getting getting a bit here. Yeah, yeah, understand. Yeah. So this is how it goes, guys. Okay, we learn a new every time in in German, especially in English. We don't do that because in English language, the verbs do not get conjugated as often as they do in Indo Indo Germania languages. Now, when you say I work, let's say you learn a new verb called work. You work. She. Works. Works. He, she works. Right. Only here it changes, but otherwise it doesn't change. Right. Like only for a third person. And since we do not learn the entire process at times, what happens is we do not uh, we make mistakes. I mean, some people some people make mistakes because of with that. Right. They work. We work. You all work. now so let's clear all of this and what is conjugation that i work you work what is that that process is called what that entire table making and conjugation is changing so basically we learn a verb in infinitive right changing the form of the verb of a verb according to the noun pronoun according to its respective noun subject, subject which is which can be subject can be noun a noun or a pronoun a noun or a pronoun right pronoun means he she i'm sorry my uh, grammar is not so good in english Yeah, oh, pronoun yes. is yes, yes. Pronoun is I. Yeah. <laughs> okay, choice. 
I'm so sorry. Personal <laughs> pronoun is uh, I do, ish do, whatever. Personal pronoun. Yes. Personal pronoun. Yes. Changing the form of a verb according to its respective subject, which is can be a noun or a pronoun, right? Pronoun is personal pronoun is like when you're talking about yourself. I mean, I, you, talking about yourself or talking about the other person. Now that thing can be a thing also, right? Like he is not working, she is not working. Ah, it is that ball is very old. That is a noun. So basically, when do we use pronouns? When we have so when you speak in the first person, you always speak. We always. Use a pronoun. You, I cannot speak about myself as Gaurav, right? I can always. I have to mention the only possibility I have is I, right? And when I am speaking to a person directly, informal, so this is I is a first person. Do is a second person, right? Second person, informal. Right then, I have Z, the capital Z, second person informal. Okay, first person ish, first person do, second person. Second person is only when I am speaking to another person in an informal way, guys. Okay, so this is first, this is second. Now Z, which means up in Hindi, this can be. Second person, like let's say I am talking to you. This can be second person. I'm talking directly to you. This also can be third person. So let's say I am talking to you, Mayank. Okay. But I'm talking about Pallav. So if I say, Das ist mein Kolleg Herr. Herr is Mr. Pallav, uh, we is the uh, we hyphen z. Ish bin Pallav. Uh huh. Un naknama. Pallav. Uh, last name naknama. So naknama is last name. Pallav kono chhe. Pallav okay. So Pallav te. Let's say her te. That is my colleague her te. Okay. Now this is your last name, so I can when I'm I'm speaking about you now. Of course, I can't call you Herte Herte in every sentence. Let's say I want to speak another sentence about you, so I will say Z, na Z common house, or I can say Z common house means he's coming from Z common house, Pune. Getting it, guys? A bit understanding it. Which Z is this? This Z is up. You know, in Hindi movies, sometimes they would introduce a third person. I, I'm sorry that I use a lot of reference from uh, Hindi, but all the language I know. So Z is basically. You remember in old Hindi movies, they would uh, introduce third person also as up. Yeah. Na, up ye hai, up wo hai. Mm -hmm. Right. It was like so. In pure Hindi, of course, that third person can also be called up. So you can relate that to Hindi rather than English. In English, capital Z, this formal Z doesn't exist. Right, you will call he, she only. You can't call anything else. No? So Z is a second person, third person. It can be second person, it can be third person. It can be third person plural also if you're talking about two people in a formal way. No? So right now, let's just focus on the pronoun. Personal pronomen, guys. What is a pronoun? Pronomen in Deutsch means or English. Pronomen when when you have already given the reference when you have already given the reference I mean you have already when you have already mentioned the noun except for first and second person
Now let's see if I say my car is broken. I have to give my car for repair. I have to take my car first dash 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 whatever does this sound a great statement guys my car my car my car nine nine right nine. Mm. Only in the first statement I can say my car. I've already given you a context. And in English, the context is that if my car is there, I will say it. Right? I have to give my car for repair. So I will say it. I have to give it it for repair. In English, I don't have a gender for car. Right? So it. Will it make sense? Like, or will it sound better if I use it instead of my car all the time here? Now, after the first yeah. statement, it will make more sense and it will sound better right i have to give my car i have to give it for repair so you look you have already given the reference so in the second statement you use so always whenever not not so basically why am i saying this and uh, explaining this what happens is sometimes when we go ahead right people translate z into up right now you know it is up second and third person but what happens is you translated it, it into literally english or hindi but you do not focus on the context. What is the context here? So if I say the assist minor collegian, I'm just using the first name, but I mean to use the last name. Frau, Frau Joyce, right? Which noun, which, so I, you know, from the, from my context here, I'm speaking about Joyce as Formal or informal? Formal. Formal, right? So I will use Z. Now, it doesn't matter how many G Z I have. I will check the context first. Accordingly, I will use the pronoun there. So in, after only checking this part, I should be able to recall which pronoun am I using, which is this. Give it a moment, guys. Let it, let this sink in. Yeah. Clar, no, Loita? All good? Yeah. So, personal pronomen. Ish. Do. So far, we have learned three Z. Now, let's write the con. Heisen. Zine to be called to be. Ish. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Now let's declassify the verb ish heisen. Always a verb has two parts, right? One in linguistic term, one is called a web stam means the stem of the verb. In English also it exists. The stem of the verb means the most important part of the verb. And one is an endung, which says the definition is in itself is clear. Endung. Endung means ending. Let's say I we learn two verbs, okay, here right now. Heisen. Common means to come, by the way. Common. 
what is the common letters in both these uh, in both these verbs guys it ends with en both right so these are these are common right also they are endings of both the verbs so i can consider them an ending because you will see these endings in 90% of the verbs so ending here is en and what is the verb stamm in hyphen and common com hyphen hyphen i love getting it common yeah so this part guys the most important part which will not be common in all the verbs right this is hyphen so here this is the sorry this is verb stamm yeah this is verb stamm so verb stamm of hyphen is hys and the verb stamm of common is com the most important part so okay we learn that again why are we why this is important because it helps in conjugating the verb and you will see the same patterns like ish hysa do do hyst z hyphen common ish comma do comst rsz comt zain is something that is completely different so you are supposed to it doesn't match any pattern so you are supposed to learn it yourself ish bin do best z zind zind Zain, I did not understand. I mean, why we use Zain? Zain, Zain is to bend. To Zain is to be basically. The verb is to be. To be means uh, so Zain we don't use in the table. Okay, the meaning of the verb is to be. So now that to be can be uh, I am Gaurav. So the verb is not I am here. So if I say I am Gaurav, you are Pallav. The verb here is not am. The verb here is to be, like Zain here. No, so Zain you can use with uh, various. Uh, like like you can use it with a noun like i am gorav you can use it with an adjective i am cold or i am sick right you can use it with the like a place i am in pune but okay. it doesn't come on the table because these verbs are called also helping verbs which help you can make the sentence or auxiliary verb auxiliary is like temporary verbs or also you will have to uh, mug this verb by heart because you will be using this all the time right? you use it too much in this language and so can you give also. me an example with sign uh, i mean any example with sign word sign is been student or is been learner sign uh, so uh, pallav sign won't come in the table okay so like how you see common is coming in the table right so these yeah. two verbs are different verbs so these two verbs so now in the verb category also there are sub categories so hyphen and common are infinitive which is present tense verb but zain comes under the category of helping verb you know in english you have what are the helping verbs in english to have yeah. and to be no? to okay. have and to be right so here zain is to be here to have we will learn later okay no? so zain doesn't come in the table guys we will just using that as a reference it means to be but here ish bin do bis so when you say ish bin gorav that means you know what it means right yeah ish bin gorav do bis pallav then i will say zi zind frau joyce Yes, no. She is. I mean, in English, uh, no, it doesn't. So, uh, so I am Gorav. You are Pallav. So there is no uh, literal translation or literal meaning to that uh, Pallav. So if I write here Zin, you are supposed to see that as a formal version in 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 Deutsch itself. 
I can't possibly okay. translate this, no? Because if you if I translate this, if I say Z, she are, because in English there is no form, formal formal. So if I say, if I have to talk okay. about let's say that is Miss Joyce, I am still using that is Miss Joyce, right? I'm using okay. still is, no? So here conflicting is is a conflict. Clear? Yeah. Now, this process, guys, okay, this process is called conjugation. We will be doing it again and again and again, right? Because at least you need to learn to conjugate. This entire process is called verb, verb, conjugation, conjugation. So, you're, we are supposed to learn at least 10 patterns by heart. Once you learn, let's say, Heisen, Common, Wonen, 10, 10 or 12, it will be super easy for you because the pattern is same after that. Only for Zain and Haben and some other verbs, you're supposed to remember it by heart because there is no pattern that you can... Now, if you see this, let's cut this. What remains when I cut this, guys? Pop stam, right? So now, what happens is, let's say I want to just conjugate these two. Common. Heisen. Ishdu. Z. Com, com, common. Highs. You see, I'm just the patterns. The pattern is same, no highs, except for Z. You don't have to. So ish. I saw. Comma, ish highsa, comst. Here. Only T. Only T. Why only T? So there are three S available there. Two, sorry, two S available there already. Yes, that's correct. No, so there are already, so that beta sign, the dollar sign here means already double S. So I don't need to write another S. It doesn't make any sense. Usually the ending with two is S T. But here already, since already two S are there, I can't use another S. So I can just add T. So ish comma. Can I say, let's say future or anyway, like if it depends on the subject, can I say, can I say ish comst? No, right? You have to follow this table only. Like only this table. So if you have seen Sanskrit and uh, any, remember like, you know, in school we had something similar like this. If you ever seen Sanskrit or Marathi also, I think have said and in, in Hindi also. You learn to conjugate. So in this exists in all the European languages. English it doesn't exist. No, like in Spanish also you... In Spanish also, you learn to conjugate the verbs firstly, at first. Clar? Yeah. yeah. See, guys, this. Why this is in red? Because there is no pattern to that. Okay, let's. <laughs> let's do this exercise. Be un se. Z order do against and Z. Makin Z. Makin means to do. Makin Z. Makin Z. I'll write it there instead of just saying it. Mackenzie of Kaba Eins und zwei B und C. No? Please do it.
Gaurav, uh, what is uh, the Zyta number? Zyta number is the, I know, man, the Akton Zipsish, 78. Okay. Gaurav, in this exercise, we need to fill the green part? Uh, no, this uh, entire thing. So, like, now the exercise says Z order do. So, you have to, uh, yeah, here, you have to fill in the blanks. So, you have to understand whether you will, they will be calling each other do or Z, you know, like, by looking at their body language. Okay, understood. And then you here also, by looking at the context, always go for the context, guys. No, not uh, uh, try not. I mean, it is it, it comes automatically, but try not translating the word literally. Like, like never do Z is you, right? Because you will always have to see the context. Always learn the language with its context. German is quite funny like that. Fetish finished. Yeah. Pallav? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Zipa Lavines. Ja, guten Tag, ich heiße Müller. Wir heißen Sie. Mhm. Antwort, Pallav? My name is Wurner. Uh, 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 yeah. And also, uh, you're supposed to speak it slower and loud and clear. No, no, like fluctuations, guys. My name is Wurner, Pia Wurner. Very good. My name is the Werner, Pia Werner. Good. Swai Joyce. Hello, ich heiße Pia. Und wer bist du? Ich, ich heiße Tom. Ich heiße Tom. See, body language, they are, sie sind im Park. No, they are in Park. So they are walking. So of course you hang in park like this. Of course you know each other. As he's in the park. Uh, and the first ones are meeting the first time. So hello, Ishai Samuler. Also, how do we understand that by their names, the way they are saying their names? No, Mueller is a la Mueller, Mueller is the Naknama. Werner also is Naknama. Here, four nama. Pia und Tom is the four nama. Say eins, uh, Mayank. Hello, ich bin Maria. Und das ist Clara. Entschuldigung, wie bist du, Clara? Mm, wie? Bist du? Heist. Wie bist du means oh. that would be how are you? We, yeah, yeah. we heist to. Clara. So I, uh, Pallav? Pallav und uh, Joyce. You can both read one by one. Guten Tag, mein. Guten Tag, my name is Tina Kleber. Guten Tag, ich heiße Anna Grams. Entschuldigung, wie heißen Sie? Yeah, Grams, Anna Grams. Grams. Yeah, grams. Getting it, guys, a bit? Yeah. Now, there are we are Zehen. We are Zehen. Fear builder. We are Zehen. Fear builder. A, B, C, D. 
Huren Z un ordinan Z the dialoga, then build in Sue. So please hear and order them in sequence. You have to give them the numbers. Okay, ish. I'll play the audios. So see the pictures first. Body language, you know, where they are. Aufgabe 3D. Dialoge. 1. Guten Abend, ich bin Peer Klausen. Und wie ist Ihr Name? Ich bin Susanne Müller. Zwei. Hallo, ich heiße Thomas. Und wer bist du? Maja. Entschuldigung, wie heißt du? Maja. Ich heiße Maja. Drei. Hey, hallo Julia. Wie geht's denn? Sehr gut. Und dir? Auch gut, danke. Vier. Guten Morgen, Herr Schmidt. Das ist mein Kollege Felix Winter. Guten Morgen, Herr Winter. So, like the photo lines, dialogue mm -hmm. lines. What was the dialogue? Say. Say. Dialogues why? Huh? Huh? Dialogue dry, Pallav? No, I do not written. Sorry. Okay. Hear it again, okay. guys. Okay, we'll do it again. Okay. Try uh, Joyce on the bank. D. Okay. Now, according to the dialogues, okay, not the ABCD. So, we are here and here. The book is telling you, Huren Zee knock ein mal. You please hear it again. Formal Z oder informal do. Kreuzen Zee an. Kreuzen is, so in German, in Deutsch, you don't have tick mark, right? You have cross. Correct answer should be crossed. Incorrect answer should be left as it is, should be left blank. So the verb for that is Kreuzen Sie an. So any, anything that is correct here, you will cross it. If that's not there, you will just leave it like that. Klar? So here, we are here in Nok ein Mal. Nok ein Mal means, Nok ein Mal means another time. No? So if I say, ah, Nok ein Mal bitte, that means, hey, it's good again. Knock means again. You can remember it by heart. Knock means again. Einmal. One more time. This mal here, das mal, is time. Time, not the watch time. This is more like a sequence time. Hey, do it one more time, right? Or ek bar. Ek bar or karna. Ek bar, do bar. So ek bar would be einmal. Like one time, one time, and swaimal would be twice in English. Getting this meaning? Yeah. No kind mal. Here and see no kind mal. So yeah. Dialogue eins, dialogue zwei. Aufgabe 3D. Dialoge. Eins. Guten Abend. Ich bin Peer Klausen. Und wie ist Ihr Name? Ich bin Susanne Müller. Zwei. Hallo, ich heiße Thomas. Und wer bist du? Maja. Entschuldigung, wie heißt du? Maja. Ich heiße Maja. Drei. Hey, hallo Julia. Wie geht's denn? Sehr gut. Und dir? Auch gut, danke. Vier. 
Guten Morgen, Herr Schmidt. Das ist mein Kollege Felix Winter. Guten Morgen, Herr Winter. Okay. Ja? Eins? Sie oder du? I think um, Bill D ist uh, eins. Hm, das ist richtig. So, D ist der eins. So, Sie oder du? See the body language, guys? Du, ne? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Do, no? Sorry, yeah, the body language is in form. Yeah, do. Getting it, Papala? Do. Bank, no? So, body language, see, yeah. he's tilting a bit. He's like, so do. Uh, after that, uh, Swai? Ah. Uh, Built ah. Uh. Just a second. Uh. Und uh, ja, zwei ist A. Ah, so das ist uh, sie oder du? A. Ah, du. Drei? C. Das ist C. So sie. das ist uh, Z, ne? The body language is not shaking hands. So like, I mean, you can see it, Z. So you see, it's not respectful or is disrespectful it's just formal and informal right so it depends on the setting i mean of the place and how you are how well do you know the other person fear b d. so that's z. z so the sister d so the sister the sister Good guys, all good so far. Getting a yeah. bit. Now we high and Z. Now let's go back to the We are Zehen. Lazen Z un Huren Z Ordnan Z the Aunt Woten Su. So we are Zehen. In moment. Das photo. We are saying das photo. That is a photo, right? Das photo. Okay, the yeah. article is Neutrum. Das photo. Lesen Sie und Hören Sie. Ordnen Sie die Antworten zu. Wie heißen Sie? Mayank, sprechen Sie zwei Frage lauter? Here, these are. Wie heißt du? Uh, nein, here, here. These are. Okay. Uh, woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Good. I love here, these are, und sprechen Sie lauter? Wo wohnen Sie? Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Joyce? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Sehr gut. So, woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Now, let's learn this right now itself. Whenever you're going to hear any hearing exercise, also in the book, right? In this book, whenever you have the CD mark next to it, this means that this is a listening exercise. Like this, listen Z un hören Z. It's a listening exercise. So, woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Wo wohnen Sie? Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Let me play that. 
We hasten the Frau Leute. Frau Lang. Sie heißen Frau Lang. Oder wie heißt die Frau? Gut. Aufgabe 4a Woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Aufgabe 4a Woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Klar, Leute? Ja. ja. So, lesen Sie äh, eins, äh, Mank, und Antwort. Uh, woher kommen Sie, Frau Lange? Ich komme, uh, ich wohne, no, sorry, ich komme aus Deutschland. So, woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Always remember, always Observe, right? Let's say half of your job is done in the beginning, at least when you have heard the verb that the other person has used. So here the person has used common. Whenever somebody is asking a question, remember that verb that they have used. Use it. Start the question with at least answer with at least ish. Ish komme aus Deutschland. No? That's why, uh, Pallav? Well, expression, expression, C. Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Gut. Drei Choice. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Wohnen is to live, guys, right? Wohnen is to live. Kommen is to come. Expression is to speak. Welsh means? Expression is to speak. Welsh means which? Which. Woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Out means you're coming out of some city or country. Ich komme aus Pune. In means you live in the city. Ich wohne in. So you can see that there is a, a pattern, right? Like I mean, like there is a context in both the preposition. You can't say ich komme in Pune. No? You can say ich komme aus Pune. I come out of Pune. Or from Pune. Aus means... Does this make sense? Yes. Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Wo wohnen Sie? Now, let's make this about... What do you do now, guys? Okay, one more thing. We'll do it in a different minute. Joyce... Fragen Sie, Pallav, you can substitute here your own names, guys, okay? So, Joyce asks, mm -hmm. we heist to. Pallav, you are supposed to use your information. Then you ask the same questions to Mayank, and then Mayank will ask the same questions to Joyce. Okay. So, am, am I supposed to uh, complete the dialogue with Pallav? Yeah, yeah. So, begin and see, okay. Joyce. We heist to. Ich heiße Pallav. Woher kommst du? Pune, India. Aus Pune? 
आउस पुणे In Pune, I'm sorry. What's the meaning of Bones? To to live in, yes. Very in Pune. Good. So, uh, he is supposed to say like you know, uh, where Frankfurt, where Frankfurt is there, there he will state his country's name. No. That is okay. Aus Pune. Frankfurt is a city, no? So you can say Aus Pune. Okay. And Zurich is also a city. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In Pune. Okay. Both the places are city. Okay. You can say Indian also. I mean, Ishkome House Pune or Ishkome House. Good. Yeah. Good. Fragenzi. Uh... Alla Fragenzi Bank. Already. Here, man, this one, pull up this one. Yeah, pull up. Oh, sorry, I'm not getting the purpose. I mean, do I have to? The dialogue is completed, right? Uh, yeah, but now we are repeating it. So you're supposed to ask uh, Mayank, no? So you now you begin oh. with Mayank. No? Okay, okay, okay. V has to Mayank. V highs to say it, guys. V, v. 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 highs to Ish highs a Mayank. Where comes to Ish come house Indian Undu Un mm -hmm. Ish Undvo wants to Ish one in Hamburg. Mank Fragenzi uh, Fragenzi Joyce. V highs to Ish highs Joyce. Where comes to Ish comma aus Indian. And who wants to Ish wanna in Pune. So you got it, Vefraga guys. Here now we learned another two Vefraga. Welsh Sprachen Sprechen Z is not really a Vefraga, okay? This is like an interrogatory question, interrogative question that we learn later. Vefraga is to be highs to, wo wants to, anything that is beginning with W. What is the position of the verb here, guys? Zwei. Zwei. Can you please do this uh, exercise, say, and then we'll go forward. Verben and personal. Also, see one's pattern, guys. You remember we had done ish haisa. So the pattern for ish wona, do wonst, er as he won't. Now, er, er and z means he and she. Okay, er means he when you're talking about a third person singular. That we'll, of course, we'll do it in detail tomorrow also. Mackenzie, say. Please do say one, then we'll discuss later. Just do it and then I'll just come back. Hello? Am I audible to you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
Are we supposed to only fill up the? Yeah, see. Whoops, yeah. Yes. Yeah, like that's is Prau Langa, the Comtaus. Deutschland. Sie wohnen in. No, in Frankfurt. Sie wohnen in Frankfurt. Frankfurt. And your second one. Jan Comte of Frankfurt. Com Jan. Comte. Jan Comte of Comte aus Frankfurt. Er want in Jury. Jan, yeah. Jan Comte aus Frankfurt. Er want er in Jury. Jury. Er want in Jury. Uh, er won't, won't in Zurich. You got this, guys. That is Frau Lang. Sie kommt aus Deutschland. Sie wohnt in Frankfurt. Huh? And Jan. You getting it, uh, Pallav? Jan kommt aus Frankfurt. Er wohnt in. Okay, guys. One more thing. A bit of, a bit of House of Gaba. Okay. Go to. Just a second. No, sorry, I was talking to my dog. <laughs> it's a little annoying today. Zoro, are we done for the day? Yeah. Can are you, uh, okay, so guys, House of Gaba, uh, can you do the Arbeit's book till four, Fear A, Fear B? The, okay, I, I was just, what is it? Fear A, I'll just show it to you. Arbeit's book? Guys, not letting. Mayank or Pallav, can you one of your please message me? Okay. I have to yeah, guys. Okay. Meeting. So you guys uh, do the just yeah, he's going crazy yeah. right now. <laughs> I've not locked him today, actually. Can you do Maybe. the bites book till yeah. 4 a then we'll meet tomorrow, okay? Miss Morgan. Okay, okay. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Yes.